So yeah, the difference between it's going to that time, that's something that we are actually working on. So you can also play very interesting things like... Uh, oh, bend the knees, yeah. Here, you know, that's super annoying. So uh -huh. We'll give it the martial arts workout. <laughs> give it a flat tire or something? Not right now. I mean, in principle, it should be able to sit, but uh, we, we, we don't have a. We, we, don't, we, haven't tried, we haven't tried to make it sit. So, so the next step is really to make it able to step. You know, when you push it too far, it needs to decide that now it needs to take a step to keep balance. So that's the thing where you're commenting right, right. now. And it's, I cannot show you a demo because it doesn't work yet. Sure, sure. Within a few weeks, it should, should be there. And when you can step, then basically you're walking. So yeah, and, and the thing we designed is to be able to deal with, um, I was saying, walking on flat terrain is not too difficult, but uh -huh. walking on a terrain that is not flat and that you yes. don't know in advance is actually very hard. Yes. So the thing that our algorithms that we developed, they should be able to deal with that. So that's the novelty compared to maybe things we've seen in, uh, on YouTube or anything. So the thing is that our, our, given that it's extremely compliant, you know, it's not very stiff, if it deals with something you didn't expect, it should actually nicely give in and uh, exactly. And be able to deal with the uh, with the imperfection in the ground. And the idea is, uh, can we get a robot walk on a you know on a hiking trail and not mm -hmm. on a perfectly flat terrain where I know exactly what's happening? Mm -hmm. And the real difficulty is, uh, how do you deal with things you didn't expect? So here, the thing you didn't expect is that you know I'm pushing it around and you need to deal with unexpected things. So that's um, that's the first step. Hopefully, we can you know progress more.